what up y'all so interview with the vampire dropped a second trailer and i didn't have enough time back then to review it so i wanted to go through it right now so let's check it out who are you louis i'm the reticent vampire of the night there on these small i walk the night capturing disappointment and regret wait stop the date we should get every detail right That's i'm listening right. We gotta get it together. Come. And bring the petite beauty. The petite beauty. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Théâtre des Vampires. Perhaps this would be a time to take a break, Louis. Hey. It's different here, I love it. I never want to leave. The coven has grand designs for her. Who's that handsome man on the wall? The finest actor ever to walk our stage, Lestat de Leon Gaulle. Mr. Lestat. We both now exist in two different worlds. The Coven Master has the power of life and death. Will you abide by the laws? I will. You've remembered, Claudia. I'm remembering it now. Never been about me. All those years coming back. I want to know for me what happened between us. Why do you want to know? Why do you know? to tell the real story Dang. i'm so excited for this season yo i'm happy for this show and it seems like it's getting like a lot more eyeballs this season so you know i hope it does well so now y'all let's break this down let's take a look at some of the key moments in the trailer so y'all continue rocking with me let's run through it again who are you louis I'm the reticent vampire of the night there on these small. So, yo, I think that's crazy that Claudia at times seems to be a little bit more mature or advanced than Louis, maybe emotionally, because she can look at him and tell, like, you're kind of lost. You don't know who you are with without Lestat. You are probably a 30 or 40 year old man, and you still are not comfortable in your skin as a man as a vampire as being a black man in new orleans so yo claudia is like reading him down i walk the night capturing disappointment and regret wait stop the date we should get every detail right i'm listening come and bring the petite beauty all right so him saying br bring the petite beauty to me and this is why our mind is so dangerous right i feel like there was always okay this is gonna be spoiler territory so if if you haven't watched the first interview with the vampire if you haven't read the Anne rice novels don't move forward because we finna get into the all those other things right all right so this is your final warning leave if you don't want to know spoilers all right so we are on setting it up like yo did you bring the petite beauty that tells me that they've probably already sensed her out in the world and armand being who he is he already has plans for what he gonna do he just knows it's gonna take a little manipulation what he needs to get done which is to eventually get claudia out of the way so he can have louis to himself because it's kind of one of those forbidden rules to not have children vampires they're just too dangerous they can't self-sustain without someone being with them because they're just physically smaller so louis broke the number one cardinal rule like yo don't turn kids into vampires ladies and gentlemen welcome to the Théâtre des Vampires. all right let's go back to this here hold on hold on this shot right here so I'm going to be the first to admit, like when, when I found out that Bailey Bass was being recasted, of course, like most people, I was let down, but I ain't mad Bailey Bass, get your money. I know you probably got to go film Avatar and it's just a conflict in the schedule. So when they announced that Delaney was going to be the new Claudia, it took me a while to get brought on, but 
I'm sold on her right now. Like all of these new trailers come out has brought me into her more. And this shot right here is kind of like the perfect shot of her because she feels like I'm at home. Like these are my people. Like we can go and we can do vampire things. And yes, th th these are the people I've been looking for. So she's excited that she's around others that are like her. Now, Louis, Louis, on the other hand, is terrified. Louis is disgusted. He's like, yo, I can't believe this is what y'all doing. Like, y'all really bringing people in here every other night and acting like y'all putting on plays, but y'all really are disposing of people? Louis is like, nah, this ain't, this ain't what I signed up for. Perhaps this would be a time to take a break, Louis. And yo, this shot here, we don't know if what this shot is connected to. I imagine this shot may be close towards the end of the season where maybe he's having thoughts about what happened to Claudia and he's getting a little agitated and frustrated. And Armand is like, yo, we might need to stop there. Um, whatever's going on here is very traumatizing to him. And he's trying to remember what the hell happened. It's different here. I love it. I never want to leave. The coven has grand designs for her. Yo, that's another one. The coven has grand designs for her. So Armand already done told his people what we finna do with Claudia. This might be a slow plan that we have to enact, but we have grand designs for Miss Claudia. Who's that handsome man on the wall? The finest actor ever to walk our stage, Lestat de Leon Gaulle. All right, so when the first trailer came out for season two and Claudia said, who's that handsome man on the wall? I was like, I was a little confused because I'm like, does she know that that's Lestat? Like she clearly knows that, hey, that looks like Lestat. So she's probably at that moment in time, because don't forget, Claudia's smart and she's cunning. She's probably trying to pry information out of our mind like, Yo, who's that guy up there? Like, where's he at and where's he from? We both now exist in two different worlds. The Coven Master has the power of life and death. Will you abide? Crazy. Yo, like, this, this trailer is so Claudia-focused. Like, I imagine at this point, this is probably them kind of doing some type of ritual to invite her in to the theater troupe and she's like yo i'm around my people like nah sis them not your people i by the laws i will you've remembered claudia i'm remembering it now it's never been about me all those years i don't i don't know what's going on here i don't know if these situations where it looks like they're really kind of worn down. I wonder if this is like the start of them trying to get to Paris. Maybe this is them traveling and running into crazy situations. It's definitely not something taking place towards the end of the season. So I imagine a lot of these shots where Claudia looks kind of beat down and louis looks like he's been through a lot it's probably them going through travels getting to where they need to get to in paris so we'll probably see this early on in the episode one most likely coming back i want to know for me what happened between us why you want to know like, why, why, why does it matter? Why you want to know? I, after a vampire attacked me, I wouldn't want to know. I want to tell the real story. May 12th, so we're a little bit um, less than a month away. Yo, somebody left a comment on one of my videos and was like, I think the recasting of Claudia fits into the story narratively because since he's having memory issues of, you know, not really remembering the story and putting it together, this kind of plays into that because maybe he's remembering Claudia looking different. 
So that was a pretty cool comment I found on my page. But yeah, are y'all excited for season two of Interview with the Vampire? I hope this show gets so many seasons. I hope we make it to Queen of the Damned. I don't know how far we gonna go, but yo, I'm excited. If you're excited, leave your comments below and tell me what you're looking forward to most in season two. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace.